so um, I actually hosted or co-hosted the I think the last show before Christmas last year, I think it was. And at that time, um, the Texas Agriculture Commissioner, Sid Miller, um, had said that he was going to slap the next person who wished him happy holidays. So my response to Sid Miller's, you know, threat to assault someone for wishing him a happy holiday was to wish him a merry fucking Christmas. Um, so this year, I'm just going to go ahead and tempt fate. And Sid Miller, if you're out there, happy holidays, dude. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you know, if somebody wants to respond like that to someone wishing them, you know, a happy whatever, then I, I don't know, even know what to say. Yeah. But anyway. I think he's grandstanding. Oh, yeah, of course. But he's going to come busting yeah. through the door at any minute now. Yeah, th th this was the guy that went to Oklahoma to get the Jesus shot which is some kind of like pain-killing anti-inflammatory thing for something he's got going on. And uh, there was a little bit of a scandal. The Texas Rangers actually investigated this guy. Um, and he, he, they, in, in the end, the Travis County um, prosecutor um, declined to prosecute uh, because there was a, a lack of evidence of criminal intent, but basically this guy had billed the state to go up to Oklahoma to get his Jesus shot. I still don't know why he didn't just call it, you know, an anti-inflammatory <laughs> right. painkiller shot or whatever it was, but anyway. But yeah, that's that's this guy that also wants to slap you for wishing him a happy holiday. So again, Sid, happy holidays. Anyway. And I want to say happy holidays too, so you can punch both of us. Yeah, and although I don't think that's going to work out very well for you, <laughs> but... How about it, bud? <laughs> and unfortunately, that's kind of a, the typical Texas state-level politician that we have yeah. here. And uh, we want to apologize to the rest of the country for that. Yeah. But they have really good hats. Yes. You have a hat you're in. Yeah. All right. So do you have a Christmas tree? We do have a Christmas tree. Yeah, I have a Christmas tree, too. But only because I can't convince my wife that we should have a Festivus poll. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if you have cats, a Festivus pole is probably a better alternative than a Christmas tree because I have a cat who likes to climb the tree and eat the needles, and the tree is fake, so there's a problem there. But anyway. Well, and we have a three-year-old at our house who likes to uh, decorate the tree with oranges, and she gets mad uh, when they don't stay in the branches, uh, so that's one. Um, but yeah, we have a Christmas tree, and I know that there's some controversy among, if you get on Facebook, and yeah. some people say that atheists shouldn't celebrate Christmas at all, and, you know, I think there's a secular holiday Christmas, and there's a religious holiday Christmas that was kind yeah. of co-opted from other pagan traditions to begin with, so yeah, um, to me, Christmas is a, a time to be with family and friends, and eat good food, and do all that and you don't have yeah. to to bring Jesus or religion into it at all and yeah I don't think there were a lot of um, evergreen trees that got decorated in the ancient Near East back when <laughs> you know Jesus was alleged to have been born so I, I'm confident that we're in the um, at, at best we're in this in the pagan version of it so I'm fine with it yeah but whatever you call it or whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate in December happy holidays to all of you and you know and enjoy the time together